What just happened? <laughs> Welcome back to a new tutorial. Welcome back at Kobe Inno Skate Park. My name is Claudius Fortesti and we're here today with my friend Jaden Sherman. Together we will approach one of the hardest pro scooter tricks, which is a backflip drop-in. Step one, get a helmet. It's very important that safety is first, and especially when you go upside down, and especially on backflip drop-ins, definitely wear a helmet. So, number two, backflip drop-in is a very hard school trick, but we were gonna give you some simple tips and tricks on how you can learn it easier. Step one, you need to be able to do a backflip. If you can't backflip, you probably won't be able to do a backflip drop-in. So, learn how to backflip first. We made a backflip tutorial, actually in California with my friend Big Air Joe. So I will link this tutorial in the description to definitely check out this video and learn backflip first. If you wanna master the backflip drop-in, you need to have three things. Technique and also jumping capabilities. And you need to be good in math. There's only two things. There's different ways on how you can approach the backflip drop-in. I think the easiest and best way is to learn it definitely into a foam pit, because especially when you're doing it the first time, you will probably not get it around first try, unless you are very good at backflip. But either way, foam pit is the best way. We are at the moment here at Kobe Indoor Skate Park. That's why we have this amazing foam pit here. So either the best way will be from a block into foam pit, just like here. So you fall down a little bit here, like this. Or most foam pits, they have some flat surface. So you can just go on the flat surface and do them from the flat surface into foam pit. The second best way is resi or in a mattress or straight to wood. Have you seen anyone who's done it straight to wood? No. <laughs> No, I mean we are in the UK and we are quite lucky we have foam pits, we have resis But if you don't have any of that, definitely recommend a mattress Or just practice backflips really fast and just hack it When you want to learn a backflip drop-in, there's three important things you have to consider Number one is the angle you jump off Number two is how fast you go, aka speed And number three is form Let's begin with the angle. So there's three main angles how you can approach a flip drop. You can either do it totally sideways. Now I personally, I don't recommend going totally sideways the first time because number one, it's very hard to get it straight and then you have to also flip basically and plus 90 degrees as well and you just might not get the right takeoff. So I wouldn't recommend that for the first time. In the future, yes. The second way is you could also totally go totally straight, just approach the ramp like a normal quarter pipe. I won't recommend this either for the first time when you're very good at them. It's actually very awesome because you can maybe go a little bit higher and it just looks amazing. But it's still very hard because the first time you might hit your head or not really angle the right direction. So I wouldn't recommend that either. Now the third way is, which is I think the recommended way for the first time and I learned it this way. And most kids who learn flip drop, they always go at an angle. The perfect angle is around 45 degrees or 30 degrees. So now we got the first part handled. We got the right angle. The best recommended angle for the first time is a pointed angle. The second important thing on a flip drop is definitely speed. Exactly, Jaden. Speed is very important. Now, you don't want to go too slow. If you go too slow, you might you might not get around the entire rotation, or you might hit your shoulder, or even in the worst case, your head. So definitely don't go too slow. The second way is you could go too fast, which is way better. So on the first time when you do it, I'd always go a little bit too fast because if the foam is big enough, it's always chill, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely go too fast, but on a real ramp, you don't want to go too fast because otherwise you will land too far and flat. There's not really a rule on how fast you go. It depends on how steep the quarter is and how also wide the quarter is. But I think a good normal speed is um, walking speed. So Jaden is going to demonstrate now how to do it and how not to do it. Get it. Bing. I'm so as you've seen, that's obviously way too slow. Now, you don't want to go too fast either. That's definitely too fast, but I'd rather go too fast than too slow. If you land too slow, you might hit the ramp or the coping. But if you go too fast and the foam pit is good and big, you just will land too far in the foam pit. A good way to figure out how fast you need to go is to test out some normal drop-in tricks. So when you are at the point to do a flip drop, I recommend doing a bar spin drop or a tower up drop or a bri flip drop just to see the right speed. You need about the right the same speed as a like bri flip drop, maybe a little bit faster or slower, but usually it's the same speed as for any other drop-in trick. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. 
So now we got the right angle, we got the right speed. Now, we are now, the third point is the form. A backflip drop-in is not much different from a normal backflip. The only three important things you have to know is number one, you have to pop up. You definitely have to jump way more up instead of going forward. Yeah. Totally true. The second point is, I think which is very helpful, once you pop off, you tuck into a ball. Because this allows you to get around faster. And have you seen anyone do a backflip drop in straight? Like totally extended. No. <laughs> How important is it for you to, to tuck in? Because if, if you stay straight, then your head will just Bounce. Exactly. It's also important to tuck into a ball just so you don't hit the head with the coping. And the third most important thing is for the technique, you basically just start like a flare, but then you don't spin. So if you, for example, can flip over a hip, for example, or like a bank to bank or quarter to quarter, it's just like that. So you backflip, but usually a slight rotation anyway. So we're gonna show you the technique. Do it. Let's do it. You're the quarter pipe at this angle now, and now you wanna rock right here, you wanna take off. When you take off, first of all, you totally extend yourself and you jump up. So you don't wanna just go forward or just back. You wanna literally jump up. And then get the pop and then tuck into a ball like this and then stay in the ball until the landing. For the landing, there's one more very important thing. A flip drop is a trick that requires more, more strength and more jumping abilities. So it's very important that you have a body tension, like flex your abs, flex your back, core muscles. You have to be in a very tense position. So Jade is gonna attend the trick now, and then we're gonna show you in slow-mo and um, give you some more tips. Yo. That was really nice. Let's replay that in slow-mo. Jaden was the right speed, not too fast, not too slow, right angle, not straight, not sideways, perfect angle, perfect speed. He jumps actually quite high and landing is perfect. And when you land, also make sure you actually open up and kind of lean more forward. That's very important. So I'm gonna do one as well by myself. This is my friend Caden. How old are you? 17. Okay, so he's not 13, he's 17, but he's inspired by the video. So you're gonna try it as well? Yeah. This is your first time to do this? Yeah. Oh, wow, sick. Nice. Okay. Let's okay. see how he does it. So remember, get a good speed, not too fast, not too slow, crooked angle, and, and get a nice pop, jump up, curl into a ball, be in a tense position, and commit. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, oh my god, he actually did it. So for your first try, that was amazing, Kaden. I think just go maybe a little bit slower, keep straight, so when you flip, actually commit tuck up. and tuck up more. Let's see that. God, that was so good. That was way better. What do you think, Jaden? Awesome. We did it to foam pit now many times. It's time to send it to Resi. Because we at Kobe Indoor Skate Park, which is one of the best training venues, we have a perfect foam pit and right next to it, a perfect Resi. So I personally, when I learned it, I did it to foam pit and then straight to wood. Because when I learned it, there was no Resi at all. So for me, it was fine. They have the the luxury of doing it on a resi first. So Caden and me, we do it to wood, but Jaden, and especially small scooter kids, resi is good, but it's harder to land on resi because you slide out. So I personally, I think once you can do them, it's way easier to wood, but Jaden's gonna show you how to do resi. Honestly, it's such a scary trick for the first time. You really need to be warmed up, have body tension, believe in yourself, and really commit. When you stand on the ramp, you have to already be sold and decided that you will do it. You can't like roll and decide or like in between. You have to like really commit. So that's why it's important to do the many, many times into foam pit. So you get the feeling, you get a feeling and then you can spot yourself better and spot the landing and do some normal tricks into the ramp like tower, bry flip, which will help you to get a good feeling of the speed. That's what I did. Jaden, be smart. This is exactly what will probably happen the first time if you don't land it. If you don't land it and do it to resi, you will probably either just land on your butt or land it but then slide out or you will land on your back or hip. So if you can, definitely have maybe a hip protector like tortoise pads or stuff like that. I have a really good friend, he put some pillows in his pants and it actually worked. So that might be an option, but Jaden is savage. She's gonna do it again. Yeah. Action! Now in this case, he over-rotated. The first time he under-rotated, now he over-rotated. If you over-rotate, so basically how to fix this, he has to, when he lands, open up more and lean forward, and then he's gonna land it. Sick, perfect. All right, Jaden Shaman, link bar. A little bit slower. Oh. That's Resi for you. 
on wood you probably would have landed this trick but because it's resi you slide out but if you don't land the first time you won't hurt yourself as much so i think honestly let's go straight to wood let's go to wood yeah, then. So we are now here on the normal skate park. We will do it straight to Woods because I think Jaden, he can do it. For do you sure. feel confident? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> he's feeling confident, that's very important. I think the perfect size is around five foot, six foot, seven foot, maybe eight foot, just any quarter you are comfortable with. This is about the same one where I learned it. I learned it on a slightly smaller one, but I think this one's very good as well. Okay, Jaden, are you ready? Give them one more tip. What is one more thing they could do to master this trick? So when you're going to do it, don't flip too early. Flip when you hit the coping or the end yes. of the Yes. Wait until the end and get the right speed, not too fast, not too slow. All the tips. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Take two, different angle. Good, Jaden. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that was amazing, Jaden. Sick. Awesome. Let me give you a few more tips and tricks, final tips and tricks on how to flip drop. The number one tip to pop, just main rule because it's important. Yes, I think number one, it's so important to really jump high. You don't just flip, you really actually jump high. So it's very important to get it to pop and to really like jump more up. That's the number one important thing. Number two is honestly just practice. Number three is commit, commit, commit. Honestly, no matter what's good a trick, committing is so important, especially when you go upside down and especially when you do flip drop, right? How important is commitment on, a, on from, from one to 11? 12. See, I told you guys. So I hope this tutorial could help you out there's not many people who probably will flip drop after this video, but maybe we got inspired you or we entertain you. To become a professional scooter rider, you have to practice a lot and really, really, it's more about commitment. I think it's the most important thing is to really commit to your tricks and to push yourself. And honestly, one more tip I can really give you. Ride with friends, just like Jaden, but ride with friends, so much more fun. And ride maybe with people who can already flip drop. So then they can give you some tips and have your friend film you so you can analyze your shots. I personally, I did that. My friend always filmed me and then we analyze the angles and everything. So definitely do that. So I hope we could help you. Thank you so much for watching tutorial and um, if you have any further questions comment down below tag me on instagram on your flip attempts or any new trick i love to see seeing new tricks so follow me on instagram right here claudius underscore Jesse. we will check out your new tricks also follow my friend Jaden. he's an awesome person he's an awesome scooter rider he's a massive inspiration so many scooter kids he's only 13 years old and he can already back and drop in which is amazing so thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe click the ring bell daily vlogs comment down below we are gonna see you tomorrow in a in a in a in a Morning. Peace out, guys.